is to plant many seeds. I think that marketing is completely different now because of Facebook and Twitter. You know, in the old days, marketing 1.0, marketing was top down. And the way you did it was you figured out who were the opinion leaders in a certain segment. Wall Street Journal, New York Times, CNET, Fortune, Forbes, Entrepreneur. You figured out who those leaders are, who are the, the most powerful journalists, the most powerful analysts, and you sucked up to them. You sucked up to them because you hoped that they would review your product. You hoped that they reviewed it and they liked it and they would tell the great unwashed masses and the hoi polloi to use this product. If you didn't want to do the sucking up yourself, you hired a PR firm to do the sucking up for you. But it was all about sucking up, okay? That was marketing 1.0. I think post-Twitter, post-Facebook, that whole theory has been reversed. It's been flattened. The way it works now is, it's not that these A-listers make a new product. A-listers report on products that are successful. They don't make the product successful. So the question is, how do you make a product successful? And I believe that nobodies are the new somebodies. That is, it's Lonely Boy 15 who's going to make your product. You don't know who Lonely Boy 15 is because he does not have 8 million followers on Twitter. He does not work for the Wall Street Journal or the New York Times. Lonely Boy 15 is a lonely boy who's 15 years old. <laughs> and he may have 50 followers, not 5 million followers. But the problem is that Lonely Boy 15 tells his 50, who tell their 50, who tell their 50, and one day you wake up and you have thousands of, of, of users and followers and fans and friends and customers. So the only way you can get to Lonely Boy 15 is to plant many seeds. The assumption should be you have to plant many seeds. You need to design your product this way, that you're going to plant many seeds. And then one day, you'll wake up and you'll be successful, and then all the A-listers have to write about you. I'll give you an example. Twitter is five years old. I want you to find me a story that's five years old that some A-lister said, I saw the future of communications today. It's a company out of San Francisco called Twitter. And what it enables you to do is send 140-character text messages to anybody in the world. Right now, people are sending messages like, my cat rolled over. <laughs> the line at Starbucks is long. But mark my words, someday Twitter will bring down totalitarian governments. I have seen the future of personal communications. There is no story like that. Twitter is successful because four years ago at South by Southwest, a bunch of nobodies at South by Southwest embraced Twitter and spread the word. And it took off, and now everybody has to write about Twitter, or you're seen as clueless. The way to do this is to plant many seeds. You want Lonely Boy 15 to use your product. With my book, Enchantment, you know, typically a business book is sent to 150 reviewers in the world. My book was sent to 1,600. It was sent to 10 times more. Today, there are about 350 reviews of Enchantment. And the reason why I did that is because I believe in this. I believe in planting many seeds that now, of the 350 reviews, you'd be amazed. Some of are on blogs written by dog trainers. Um, it's been reviewed on vegetarian food blogs. But my favorite is that it seems like estheticians have embraced enchantment. So there are a lot of people who write beauty blogs who have reviewed enchantment. You know, one day they're writing about lipstick, the next day they're writing about enchantment. Hallelujah. You know? If 1% of the women who cared about beauty bought my book, do you know how many copies that would be? <laughs> my God, I would own the world. So, we could buy multiple Mustangs, one for each kid. <laughs> so, the key here is to plant many seeds. Find Lonely Boy 15. I'll tell you a funny story. I keep using this theoretical example of Lonely Boy 15, and about a month ago, Lonely Boy 15 on Twitter wrote to me. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God, there is a lonely underscore boy underscore 15. He wrote to me. I was truly amazed. So plant many seeds.